Welcome to the brick wall. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you like the brick wall. Maybe 2024, this is what we'll do. <sighs> Today we're going to talk about self-esteem. We're going to talk about self-worth, breaking yourself down and rebuilding. We're going to talk about your self-concept. We had some of this conversation when we talked about Kiki Palmer situation, but I want to take it to a different level today. Because I feel like moving forward in the new year, these scenarios are going to keep exposing themselves. They're going to they're going to keep coming out. And I love that they're coming out because I love this conversation that we weren't having many years ago. We weren't having this. And with the explosion of people talking about their self-esteem journey and doing better with themselves and ridding themselves of toxic individuals and things of that nature I think we kind of miss a lot of conversation and I think I don't think people have been being honest I don't think they have been really honest with themselves the public their audience if they're famous their fans and so forth so if you're new to my channel Scorpio Sun Scorpio Moon is the first YouTube channel Ever about Scorpios by real Scorpio I don't just talk about astrology I talk about everything Plutonian Mars energy bringing yourself down rising from the ashes creating a strong self-concept creating the life that you want to live you know brick by brick literally brick by brick brick from the ground up ridding yourself of old traumas having that conversation with your youngest self forgiving yourself for things that you've done in the past or things that you couldn't do, things that you, you know, were not in control of, that you still carry the burden of, the shame of, the guilt of, you know, creating your best self, the best self that you can be, not the best self that others expect out of you, not something that you're trying to mimic from other people, but feeling good in your body and creating a life manifesting power, having your power, being in your power, manifesting the life that you've always wanted to live, okay? And that's what we talk about. So like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff if you're down for that type of conversation here. So the internet exploded um, a few days ago with Simone Biles, her, her husband, <laughs> I was thinking like it and, and, and why why did I just pause it, it was difficult for me to get the word out husband because of the manner in which you know he presented himself on social media I'm like wait is is that her husband is that the person who's like supposed to protect her and have her back and, and is a good friend to her and so if you haven't seen the clip, I cannot show you it here because me and YouTube have been at it for many, many years and um, I can't use anyone's clips, okay? My videos, a lot of them have been blocked all over the world, honey. <laughs> and I am not playing with YouTube, okay? So just go and click on anybody else's video. They'll have the clip there for you. But the conversation was interesting. So her husband... I think his name is Jonathan. I believe he's a football player. I don't know for whom. It doesn't even matter. We all know who Simone Biles is. She is... Oh, gosh. I don't even know how to present her because there's so many things that can go before her name. She is, you know, an Olympian. She's renowned. She's the best of the best in the game. The best of the best in the game. And she had a very difficult childhood. And if you know her story, you know, she grew up pretty rough and um, not really feeling good about herself. And I would say it takes a lot of inner work. And I know this for a fact. And you guys have been here with me. You've read all of my books. You know my story. It takes a good amount of time to go back and kind of address a lot of the things that you've been through. And the things that you've been through have created 
how you feel about yourself right now. Okay. Many of you can say a lot of words. You can spew out affirmations all day long. And there are intricate things about your childhood that still dictate how you feel. Maybe you were assaulted. Maybe you were abused in some manner. Maybe you were spoken to poorly. Maybe you weren't paid attention to. All of those things are deep in your subconscious. They're deep in there. And there's that little voice sometimes that is telling you you're not good enough. You're not worthy. You better snatch this one up. You're not going to have any other options. A lot of it shrinks you down. Okay. And from looking at this podcast, Simone Biles still has a lot of inner work to do. And just because you are successful, it doesn't take away the low self-esteem. Many of you guys think like, once I get rich, once I get famous, once I get this, once I lose weight, once I change this about myself, that that is going to take care of the inner work. And that is not true. It doesn't take care of the inner work. It can distract you from, from your traumas. It can even mask, put a little mask over it. But when you're by yourself, you always feel like that seven-year-old, that ten-year-old, or whatever, whatever the age range when the roughest things happen to you, you'll always go back to that. And in fact, all of your defense mechanisms, all of your, you know, all of your emotional um, wounds is still built upon that. Okay, it's still built upon that. Will they love me? Ooh, they're not going to like who I really am. Let me pretend. All of that happens. Whether you have money in the bank or not, I can attest, okay? Whether you have money in the bank or not. Simone Biles is a very affluent uh, athlete. She's a millionaire. She's very successful. And she still has low self-esteem. It didn't go anywhere. It didn't go anywhere. And how do I know that? How do I, how dare I come on camera and, and say something like that? There's so many people making videos, you know, about this. How dare I, how dare I say that she is low self-esteem? Because I know it. I've had it and I could see it. I could spot it instantly. So her husband went on a podcast and he was talking to, I guess, some other football players. And one of them said, how did you... How did you pull Simone Biles? And I don't know how he met that because the energy that came from it, I really didn't believe that he was talking down to the husband saying like, how did you get her? It, I, it, because she was there, maybe that's the conversation that they had. But I don't really believe, I don't really, I don't know if I believe his intent with like hyping her up in that way. I think had she not been there, the conversation would have been different. And so he turns around and says, well, she came and got me. We heard this before with Joshua Jackson and, um, you know, the fabulous supermodel wife that, wife that he had. Um, when he talked about how she slept with him on the first date. Like he threw her under the bus. He threw her under the bus. Oh, she pursued me, blah, 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 blah. It was a hot mess and the whole internet was on fire. And so now we see it again. We see it again. Um, you know, we saw it with Kiki Palmer's boyfriend acting out, honey. And now we're seeing it again in this scenario with her husband saying, oh, she came and got me. So there's something in that. And I know you guys may think like, oh, that's not a big deal. Maybe they were having fun. That's their way of joking. And no, no, no. I know better. I know that words are powerful. And I know when people pull out words, they are intentional. Like they have some intent. They have some intent to either hurt you, to put you in your place. We're in an era of humbling, beautiful or, 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 or successful women. We're in the era of humbling them. Calm down. You're not that big of a deal. You know, a gold medalist is not that big of a deal all of a sudden. Because what, everybody's getting gold medals? Everybody's winning the Olympics? Everybody's doing, you know, like everybody's changing the whole entire sport of gymnastics? Right, because like, because every, everybody's doing that. It's so easy. So we're in the, the climate of humbling um, amazing women and, and women who 
have so many accolades and things, you know, they have to shrink themselves down in order to make someone else feel better about themselves, right? And so he told some intricate details and the details that you tell will show what your intent is. He told them, oh no, she came and got me. I was on this uh, dating app called Raya and I assume that's a dating app for celebrities or people with you know more means than the others and you can go on this app and just meet you know other rich people or other famous individuals or people who you know professional athletes or people with, at, at a certain level right and so he's like well I didn't even know who she was so first of all if you're on that app because you can't just join the app um, from what I know, and you can correct me in the comments, it's a type of app where you have to be vetted beforehand. They look at who you are, they look at your following, they make sure you are who you say you are. You have to be of a certain caliber to get on. And so obviously if she's on there, she must be somebody, right? Because he's on there and he's not some top star, honey, in his field. He's not. So if he can get on there... Everybody else must be something. And so he's like, oh, okay. He was like, so I swiped on her and we matched. And I was like, okay. And then he said he just chilled. He didn't go talking to her. She started sending messages. And then all of a sudden she was on his Instagram. And he made it known, oh, she was on my Instagram. And then, oh, and this is the one that really got me. He was like, I was just like, all right. He was like, and I didn't even respond right away. I went and took a shower and came back and like, boom. So he wanted us to clearly know that he was just chilling. He wasn't that interested. And she was really coming for him. And then what he said was that she drove 45 minutes to see him. Now, this was during COVID or whatever. He's like, oh, you know, she drove 45 minutes. You know, it's just like he wanted everyone to know that he was a big deal. And so the guy was like, oh, so you're, you know, you're the catch. And he's like, oh, I always say men are the catch. And she's just sitting there and, uh, you know, so embarrassed for her because she's just smitten. She's a Pisces. And I felt bad for her. I felt bad for her because... She just allowed somebody to slide through. And a lot of you guys are doing it too. You're not gold medalists. You're not billionaires. You're not maybe the most decorated in your field. It doesn't matter. You've put in the work. You've, you've earned your degrees in your area. You've gone to school. You've done work on yourself. You keep yourself up. You have worth. You have value. And some of these people are sliding through the cracks in your life because you still haven't dealt with the trauma that the, the trauma of your past the the little intricate little pieces that have damaged you in a way that you even though you have things you guys you know a lot of you a lot of you are rich a lot of you are rich you own your own home you have vacation home like you have physical things you have physical things okay But you have not healed from a lot of things that have happened to you that have given you a self-concept of someone who still doesn't feel good enough for an amazing relationship. You doubt yourself. You're like, why are they, do they really like me? We had this conversation in previous videos with someone saying, why is he, why does he like me? And I was so... Oof, that did something to me. I was like, wow. Why not? What's wrong with you? And so many of you, you get, in, you get into these relationships, you think it's the only one. You're like, wow, I was getting married now. You know, like, like no one else is going to ask you. You marry the first person who asks. Or, 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 you know, you meet somebody and you're like, going through their phone, you're questioning everything, you're, you're going on Google, you're just, you're so hyped up, like, oh my gosh, is this my only chance in life? Like, there isn't billions of people on the planet. And you may be surprised, you, you know, 
a lot of you guys are surprised because people have physical things and you think that creates a strong sense of self, but it doesn't. It really doesn't. In fact, it probably does the opposite. It probably does the opposite because now you're in a position where you can't really trust anybody. You're like, wow, I have this status. I, I can't just make a friend out on the street. I don't know what they want from me. I don't know who they are. You know, you can't just do anything you want because eyes are watching you. It probably makes it worse. It probably makes the insecurity even worse. You have to constantly, you, you have to constantly play to an audience. You know, be the good person, right? You can't, you can't show out, honey. You can't show out. You have a lot of money. People want to sue you now. People want to take your things now. I feel bad for her that she sat right there and got diminished by a man that she's laying in the bed with every night. I just can't. You know, it, it brings me back to my days. And for me, this is comparable. It's comparable. It's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. It brings me back to the days where when I was really young and like I had a boyfriend and he didn't protect me. Like people were just talking shit and he just stood there. I told you guys about this. It brings me back. And I know now as an adult, like, yeah, we were kids and maybe that's the best thing he could have done, you know. And, and maybe that was his self-esteem too and he didn't know how to defend me and he maybe he felt like a punk and all those things may be true but it just it just brings me back when I think about that and I'm like he just threw her to the wolves he just threw her to the wolves and it's so much bigger than what people are talking about like they're not you know everybody's like oh who is he he's nothing he's this and that may all be true but this has nothing to do with him because she chose him to marry. She texts him. She called him back, you know. Women are on social media talking about, you know, all different things about relationships. Like, you should let him do that. He should love you even more. Like, this is, too, this is way deeper than that. Goodness. Oh, it bothers me when people just skim the surface. It's just so annoying. It's like, let's talk about self-esteem and talk about why you feel like that is your only option that you can allow someone to sit there and chip at you away like that whether it's on camera or not if that was done on camera imagine what's being done behind the camera imagine what kind of voice he has to her imagine what kind of you know what i mean it all comes from his lack of feeling good enough for her he knows who she is honey he said he was walking out in the street with her and a crowd of kids came over and was like, ah, and they had handed him the phone and was like, can you take our picture? And he felt like an idiot next to his woman who's fabulous, who's fabulous, right? This has nothing to do with him at all. Should he have done that? Absolutely not. What does he know? And that's what she chose though. Here's the thing. That's what she chose. A lot of you guys are in messy situations. I just read some of the comments under some of my videos. You know, it triggers me in so many ways and disgusts me in so many ways. And then it makes me sad in so many ways that that is all you feel you're good enough for. You go out, you're in bed with some random guy who tells you, I don't want a relationship, yet you're at his disposal, you're over there every night, what secretly hoping he's gonna like you? I don't think this man even likes her. And people can be married. A lot of you are confused. You're like, were well, they married? I don't know. What does it take to get married? A marriage license is what? I'm in New York City, a marriage license is what, like $60? It doesn't take anything to go to the courthouse or have a little ceremony and get that doesn't mean shit. Why are you so confused? Why do you put marriage on a pedestal like that? It takes nothing to get married. It really doesn't. It doesn't take take anything. Half an hour, honey, and it's over with. And it's finished. Sign the papers and, and it's done. It's a wrap. What does that mean? You know how many people are in marriages where they don't even like each other? They don't even know each other. Think of all the arranged marriages. I don't know you. 
some some strange man up in your bed that your parents hooked you up with. You don't know him. You don't know shit about him. There's people getting married for so many different reasons. Doesn't mean they love each other. A lot of marriages aren't about love, and they probably shouldn't be because there's there's too much in a in a relationship like that that's that is beyond just loving each other. It's too much. It's too much. And so a lot of you guys are just confused with the word like that. You see people and you're like, oh, I don't even think this man likes her. And as a Pisces, she's there thinking, you know, all you Pisces, you think you can save people. It's so sad to watch when you're not in your power, when you're not in that creative, strong, spiritual power, when you're in the power of collecting wounded cats like all your friends have mental problems and you're trying oh I'm trying to heal them and your your whole life is a mess like you're not even at a strong point where you can heal somebody without becoming a mess yourself without falling in the rabbit hole you know she's trying to heal this broken man or she's trying to and I don't know I don't know him personally but I will say he's broken to to behave like that there's something underneath the surface where he felt compelled to have that conversation to a bunch of men. And the guy even said, like, what did he say? This is what he said, the husband. He said, you know, if she didn't come at me, I wouldn't have paid it no attention. Like, he wasn't interested. He's not into this woman. And then after he found out who she was, he's like, oh, wow. I mean, that was probably an ego boost. Like, oh, wow, somebody who's so big could come after me, blah, blah, blah. And she has a type. That's her type, you know, because she doesn't feel good enough about herself. Maybe she does feel ugly. Maybe she doesn't feel beautiful. Maybe she doesn't feel like... Maybe she doesn't feel worthy. I mean, let's strip away all of her athletic success. I like to do this once in a while, like just to see who people are at the bare minimum. And I even do this with myself. I say, who, who am I if I didn't have any money in the bank, if I didn't have a YouTube channel, if I didn't have any books, if I didn't, if I hadn't gone to school, if I hadn't like, who would I be like at the, at the core? And I've had this conversation with myself a multitude of times. And I literally have the same belief system. Like I'm still there. Like that core is still there. You know what I'm saying? It's still there. And for many of you, it's not. Because you ride off of that stuff. That stuff is what you are. Like without it, you, you're, you don't even have a persona. You don't have a personality. You don't have a character. You don't have anything. And for her, who would she be if she weren't like a gold medalist? Like... She would just be the four foot eleven, dark skinned little black girl, walking around. Maybe, maybe she works as a secretary somewhere. Think about her without the stuff. I'm trying to give you a visual of who she would be. Like, is she the one that all the men chase after? Is she the one that like everybody's trying to date? Would she be that girl? Do you, do you see what I'm saying? You know, and I want you guys to do this with anybody that you kind of put up here or any celebrity. Like, take away the Oscars. Take away that. Like, are they really, would they really, like, if they went to school with you or something or if they were in your, lived in your neighborhood um, or worked at the local deli, like, would they be, like, do they still have that? You know what I'm saying? Like, who is she without, without the cameras on and who, you know, the gymnasts? At home, she's probably just the insecure person who who wants you know somebody to really like her, and that's what that's what does it for me. That's what makes me sad, not just for her, but all of you who write comments under my videos or who have soul sessions with me or email me like ten page novels of you know. Oh, I'm so sad this person is not talking to me anymore. And you're you're there in, in a fetal position because you don't feel the worth without them. Like they make you feel something. 
you're like, wow, he's paying attention to me. I must be something. She called me. I must be something. I was on the phone with somebody who wanted to do a collab with me. And we were talking about a lot of things. And they, and they said something that was so um, indicative. They were like, wow, we've been on the phone for almost an hour. Like, they were so impressed that I gave them an hour. And I was like, I was so disgusted. Like, never mind. Never mind. Anyway, we, we never did the collab. I cut them off because they, they weren't ready for me. They weren't ready. <sighs> when people start saying things, you got to pay attention. Many of you, you're not sensitive or you're afraid to be. You're not, you're not perceptive. The words that come out of people's mouths, whether it's privately or in public, reveals your whole entire relationship. This man stood on camera and, and um, said he didn't even know who she was. She chased him and he came up with many examples of that. Her driving 40 minutes to see him, her running to his Instagram, liking his pictures, sending him messages. Blah, blah, blah. He wanted to let it be known that she, the gold medalist, one of the most successful gymnasts of all times, was chasing him down. He wanted that to be known. That was really important. Just like Joshua Jackson wanted everyone to know that he slept with his wife on the first date and that she kept calling him and that she proposed. He, he Oh, you got to know this. Everybody's got to know this. And that shows a lot about both of them. It reveals a lot about both parties. This is who you're with. Now, Joshua's divorced. <laughs> we see how that ended up. But look at this. And then we see the Kiki Palmer situation where, where the boyfriend wanted to show out and all this. Oh, gosh. So this is deeper than just successful women choosing badly and this, that, and the other. You know, men have a problem too. Men have a big problem. We got these incels, which all this stuff is going away. I see it whittling out, and I'm so happy about that. I see this manosphere stuff going away. I think by 2025 is going to be totally irrelevant hopefully beforehand, some men are waking up to that. They're like, why am I doing this? I am not healed. Obviously, this, none of this is getting me a healthy relationship. They see that women are going elsewhere. They said that women are the most single now more than ever. They're choosing just to be by themselves. They're not procreating. They're, they don't want to be married. I mean, this is a signal to everybody. You know, everybody needs to deal with their own stuff. They, you have to. You cannot come into any relationship. I'm talking about 50-50. It has to be 100. Bring your 100%. I bring my 100, which is why I chose many years ago to break down and rebuild. And I'm still doing it. It's been past 13 years, honey. Consistently. Consistently. Okay? So, in my relationship, I'm bringing 100% of my healed self now, we're not talking about perfection because there's a lot, a lot of things that I'm still um, dismantling. But I've put in the work. They've put in the work. Okay, a lot of you are messy and you're out in these streets looking for people. Like, for what? For what? I'm not saying she shouldn't have got married, but I will say, look at that mess. I can't even imagine what conversation goes on behind the scenes. Imagine when they get into a fight. Wow, there's such a lesson in here for all of us. And I want you guys to make a comment after you saw the podcast under the video of how this triggered you and why. Now, this is going to take some maturity. It's going to take you going back to your roots, looking at your younger self and seeing where those traumas are. This takes me back to when I was 17 years old and got thrown to the wolves, honey. 
just throw it to the wolves. People talk shit about me. My significant other didn't say a damn thing. He had glossy eyes like he was damn lost, honey. And that has happened on many occasions, though. Many, many occasions. And I felt some kind of way about that. It just took me back. But also, this is the important thing. It not only took me back to, to my childhood, but it took me back to a point where it was like, well, do I deserve this? Like, you know what I mean? Like that I was questioning it. Like it didn't feel good, but also it was like, well, I guess this is what happens in life. And that's not true. Like that is not true. That doesn't happen to everyone. Okay, it doesn't happen to everyone. Everyone doesn't allow that either. And so for me, it was like, I kind of felt like, okay, well, that's just the way it is. Or like, oh, well, that's the best I can do. Or I don't even know if that was in my head, but that that's what it was. So when I was watching this, I was like, what the F is going on? Like my adult self, if somebody tried to even clown me the, uh, the tiniest bit, you know what I'm saying? Like if somebody throws some words in like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let, let's deal with what you're talking about right now. Because I don't know what your intent is, but let's clarify word for word what you're trying to do. What's not going to happen. What's not going to happen. Period. Do you see what I'm saying? But that's my developed, older, stronger self. Now, if we're going back to 18 and things like that, that's a whole other subject. And I know Simone is very young. They're both very young. But there's something in here that just makes me feel disgusted. And it's way beyond like, she's so rich and most decorated athlete. She shouldn't be tough. Like, no one should have to feel like that. I don't care. This is why I said strip away your accolades and things like that. Like, no one should have, have to deal with that. I don't care whether you're an Olympic gold medalist or if you work at the Dollar Tree. Like, it's, it's not okay no matter where you try and create the scenario like people are coming from that standpoint of like she's rich she didn't like no like no or she's successful or these women are so like no like no one period no one anywhere i don't care if you work at a walmart and you live in a trailer park like no this is where i'm coming from so i want you guys to watch it first do not respond under the videos until you do Tell me what you think. Tell me what your triggers are and why. What does it bring you back to? What have you learned? What is the what is the lesson here for you? Okay? Like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. I'll see you at ScorpioSunScorpioMoon.com where you can book a master chart reading where I go through what your superpowers are, what your challenges are, your best love matches. We talk about career. We talk about everything. And right now, my whole entire site is 40% off. Use the code Happy Holidays. I think the 31st may be the last day for the sale, but it's 40% off and that is a big deal. You can get a um, discount on my books, paperback and audio, all my jewelry and any other accessories on the site. Just throwing that out there. Join my membership every single Thursday at 7 p.m. I have self-esteem sessions where I talk about this. I talk about demantling you know, the low self-esteem, how to do that, how to build brick by brick so that, you know, these scenarios don't even come to you. You wouldn't even attract, you wouldn't even be in the climate of attracting any type of scenario that would lead to this situation, okay? Once you know what those defense mechanisms are, once you go back and talk to your younger self once you start healing from all of these things that block you that make you feel like this is okay we talk about all that in my sessions $29.99 for those of you who um, want to know how much it is digging those piggy banks honey and uh, I think that's it I'm on Facebook I'm on Instagram and I'm out of here